Police arrest a Breckenridge man in connection to months worth of ski theft at Peak 9. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. A Breckenridge man is accused of stealing more than 50 pieces of high-end ski and snowboard gear from the Peak 9 base area. Police yesterday arrested a 32-year-old after a month-long investigation. His name and the value of gear have not been released. It is unclear if the stolen gear was sold or recovered. Stay tuned in coming days for more. Visitors to the Silverthorne Rec Center got a close encounter of the moose kind this afternoon when a young cow refused to leave the front lawn and entrance area, forcing patrons to use a side door. Last week, the Silverthorne Library could not open for several hours because a moose was sleeping in front of the main entrance. Meanwhile, a young moose wandered into a Breckenridge basement recently where it was tranquilized and moved. More residential properties are on sale now than this time last year, and that means one thing for local real estate. The market could finally be leveling out. It's not a seller's market, it's not a buyer's market, but it, it's becoming to look a little more favorable overall. That was Tom Coolidge, president for the Summit Association of Realtors. Sales prices remain steep. The average home sold for $1.3 million last month, while the average condo went for a half million dollars. But inventory is growing, and Summit tends to mirror the Denver market. That inventory is an indicator that people are looking at that peak that they might have missed and are saying that I think I got to get in the game and move my property. What's this mean for locals waiting to buy property? We are seeing the prices becoming more attractive and we're seeing more properties that are becoming available. Tune in tomorrow morning for more on the state of Summit Real Estate. Shannon Haynes with Breckenridge has one message for visitors and locals alike. You truly don't need a car in Breckenridge for the most part. Haynes is assistant town manager and former chief of police. Breck PD oversaw parking until 2016 when the town installed on-street meters. Parking has generated more than $2 million in revenue since then. We didn't price paid parking in order to make money. I mean, it just by its design, does generate revenue. Two million dollars is hardly chump change, and Haynes says the money has funded new signage and enforcement. It's part of Breck's plan to get people out of their cars and off jam-packed roads. Make our community more walkable, more pedestrian-friendly. We've basically doubled our transit service. Still need a space? Data shows F-Lot, Lacima Mall, and the Gondola Lots are busiest for in-town parking. North Main Street and Tiger Dredge Lot are lightest. The Snowy Peach Ski Patrol is looking for a few good men. It's open tryout season for local ski patrols. Copper has ski testing this Friday, March 22nd, and again April 12th. Keystone tryouts are March 29th and 30th. Breckenridge tryouts are April 3rd and 4th. See websites for details. At Loveland, tryouts are April 13th, and new hires are eligible for medical training. See lovelandskipatrol.com to sign up. A Basin is not hiring any new patrollers. Smokers! Hot doggers and ski bums need not apply. In sports, the Avalanche played the Wild today at 6 p.m. In MLB news, Angels outfielder Mike Trout is about to sign the biggest pro sports contract in history, making $430 million over the next 12 years, about $93,000 per day. Before this, Rockies third baseman Nolan Arenado had the biggest annual salary of any position player, earning $260 million over eight years, or $89,000 per day. In local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, girls soccer has Glenwood Springs at home today, boys baseball is on the front range for Centaurus. Boys lacrosse beat Eagle Valley in Gypsum yesterday 8-7 to to start the season with a win. The boys are off until Friday for Vail Mountain at home. And Summit County is home to the fastest cops on skis. Last Friday, local law enforcement raced in Vail for the Colorado Peace Officers event, winning the team title ahead of Vail PD in second and Avon PD in third. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.